Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We extended our stay for a couple days. We, we did, we did, because as we're driving around, there's so many places that we want to try uh, yes. on strip and off strip. So we extended our stay for a few more days. And while we're going to Corners Pasty, we passed by this place. It looked awesome. Yeah, Casa you know, Don Juan. And we know we love Mexican food. Yeah, this is here in the Arts District. Mm -hmm. It is, it is. Yeah, and it really caught my eye. So uh, we're going to try it out for uh, like a brunch. Mm -hmm. See how it is. Ready? You have to, you know it. sat down and just ordered our breakfast brunch brought out some chips salsa and refried beans you don't see that too often in Mexican restaurants so I'm gonna give this a try nice and warm great refried bean taste and I love it that they give it to you with the um, salsa so we go a classic double dip right here. Mm. Spicy. It's a uh, hot medium, I'd say. The only thing missing is a margarita, but it's only 10 o'clock in the morning, so I got this regular orange juice. <laughs> Maybe after, right? Maybe, who knows? I got the menudo, you have to get it, especially if it's on the weekend, which is today. I, it is tripe. You can see it looks delicious. I already, they gave me cilantro, onions, and lime on the side, and I already hit it up with lime. They have these fresh corn tortillas that you eat with your menudo. Here we go. So clean, so tasty. And the onions, of course, you have to add it with the cilantro in there. Rich flavors in here. Does it come with beans? I, or it doesn't come with, it comes with hominy. No oh. beans, fresh tortillas. I think, though, I need a little bit more lime. But this is excellent. This is what you usually order after a hangover um, and then after a hangover we're going to any type of mexican restaurant usually on weekends that's why they have menudo to to kind of overcome your your a weekend hangover it, it looks spicy but is it it's not spicy at all they give you peppers on the side but i opt for no peppers so this is delicious I got my favorite Mexican breakfast, chorizos con huevos, which is chorizo, which is a spicy Mexican sausage mixed with eggs, classic rice and beans. And I opted for the uh, hand or the homemade flour tortillas. And a lot of people make like little burritos or tacos with it, but this is the way you eat it, OG. Roll it up like a cigar, have some of your chorizo, Follow it up. Mm. This has great flavors. Some restaurants, uh, it could be a little bit on the weak side on the chorizo, but this is very well balanced. That great spicy pork flavor. Overall, it, it really isn't a hot dish. It just has a lot of uh, pork flavor to it. Mixed with the eggs, it's perfect. Good stuff. Now they don't usually put bones in the menudo, but I really think this is like the best part because if you love bones and love sucking on bones, you can taste the marrow that's in this bone. Yep. I love it. I love these bones in this menudo. 
is like Caria. I believe that's how my server pronounced it. This is her favorite margarita since we couldn't decide. It is on ice. It looks really good. And she says it's a different tequilas in here. So we're really gonna try it out. Ooh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a Cadillac. It tastes like a Cadillac margarita. I'm not a big tequila drinker, but this one is really, really smooth. This with chips and salsa, watching a game, this is all you need, but this one I know will knock me on my bottom. <laughs> I can feel it already. Day drinking, man. Yeah, day drinking. It's a Saturday. I'm not driving. I know I am. <laughs> That was a good brunch. That was a very good one, baby. I'm yeah. full. Yeah. Now, you know, we're from Los Angeles, yeah. so uh, we could be some good Mexican food critics. Yeah. And this is legit. It this, is. This is it a very is. good place. Very good. You can tell the freshness of everything that is made. Right. That uh, Cadillac Margarita, it, no burn at all. You no. can really sit and drink a few of those. Yeah, they definitely as use some premium uh, tequila yeah, in that one. Yeah, as much as you can handle. It was a very good Cadillac Margarita. Mexican foods, restaurants on the strip, inside the casinos. Yeah, it'll okay. probably satisfy your craving, but if you want some, you know, real OG stuff, take I'm a drive here. over here to the Arts District. Yeah. And Not, hit up Don Juan. Nothing fancy about it, just straight up good Mexican food. Good Mexican food, yeah. yeah. I really uh, look forward to coming for lunch or dinner one day. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm an enchilada fan, so I'll try it out one day. Okay, All right. our next adventure, babe. All right, we'll see what happens. Big Al's Oyster Bar mm -hmm. at the Orleans Hotel and Casino. Yep, it is so hot outside and the heat is taking our bottoms and so we're going to stay local, huh baby? Yeah, we happen to be staying at the Orleans. Yeah. And we did review this in one of our uh, clam chowder uh, shootouts yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, Yeah, so we're going to give this place another try and other items too. Yes, I'm ready. I'm hungry. Uh, me too. We got some bread. So here it is. It's nice and warm. Open it up. Here's the butter, and oh, that looks good. So I'm sorry to always like, huh? It's gonna match with my clam chowder. Yeah, it's really good. I got the bowl of Boston clam chowder, which is the white one. It's a big bowl. Yes, it is. It's a huge bowl. It's a close my hand right there. I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of pepper. There we go, and we got a big piece of. What kind of, is this that, um, what kind like of a, Almost like bread a is this? big old oyster cracker. Yeah, huge. Let's take a bite of that. It, it's not crispy anymore because it's been in the soup, but it's a good, good taste. Let's try this out. This is lots of clams inside, I see. A lot of potatoes. It's a good shot of it right there. are nice and soft. The soup, very creamy. This is the, like the thick type of clam chowder. It won't quite hold the spoon up. <laughs> well, maybe it will. The little pits of clams are real tasty. See, this is what happens when you do one takes for everything. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But this is pretty good. I haven't had a clam chowder in a long time. Yeah, it has a nice, smooth, rich clam chowder flavor. Not salty? No, not like, at all. Last time we came, it was salty. And that's, yeah, they removed the salt because it's not salty. Even the bread is lightly sourdough. It's not like a heavy sourdough. So yeah, everything looks good. I look forward to the salad, which I ordered. So we'll see how that is.
we ordered an appetizer, shrimp cocktail. So the shrimps are humongous. It's served cold. Hit it up with a little bit of lemon. Ah, cute. They're like stuck together. Boop. There we go. Oh. Does taste like a shrimp. Doesn't taste frozen. Good shrimpiness taste. It's crunchy. It's good. Um, I think I tasted shrimps that have a little more shrimp taste to it. But it's good with the sauce. For my main entree, I got the miso glazed salmon Caesar salad. This thing looks beautiful. I love the, the grill on that salmon. Caesar dressing doesn't look like they put too much on it. It's a big salad. It is. It's a very good sized salad. I'm going to hit everything up with a little bit of lemon. Okay. Follow it up with some pepper. Let's try this out. Salmon is nice and flaky. Look at the sear on that. Here we go. It's very light on the miso glaze. In fact, Probably if you didn't, uh, if I didn't know it was miso glaze, I'd probably think it just regular grilled salmon. It could be some other spots that have more miso, but um, I'll report back on that. Let's see how the salad is. Yeah, salad nice and fresh, cold. Nice, big pieces of romaine salad, uh, romaine lettuce here. The croutons are, are the small kind. that overall it tastes like a very good Caesar salad I usually don't get salmon sometimes I usually get like grilled chicken and stuff but I'm glad I kind of switched it up the salmon at least is moist in the middle so that, that alone kind of makes up for the difference that it doesn't have a strong miso flavor Big Al's pan roast. It has shrimp and crab in it with rice pilaf. So let me try this rice. Good flavored rice. Now let's try the pan roast. Good pieces of crab in there. You can see the shrimp in there. This sauce is a cream based sauce. Great favorite pan roast. Very very seafood flavored pan roast, which I don't mind, especially because it's a seafood pan roast. And to match this with the rice, you can taste that chunks of crab, real crab. The, the base of it is a tomato cream, but the, the acidity of the tomato you don't taste at all. And it matches perfectly with the rice. It's a really good meal. You can tell it's big. It's going to be filling. Can't you think of anything better to do in Vegas for watching chariot riding, chariot horses, and then there's baseball on, basketball, and bull riding. Okay, this is pretty cool. And other stuff. Yeah. Here we are at Ping Pang Pong for lunch at the Gold Coast Hotel and Casino. We've been here uh, over a year ago. Oh, way over a year. Yeah. Two years. Yeah, so uh, we thought we were going to go to Chinatown, but we have to come here to do something. And so I thought, oh, okay, we'll just catch a bite here, and then we'll go do what we have to do. Ah, uh, baby. That's right. Uh, we're going to get some dim sums. Yeah. Some Chinese food. Yep. 
Yep, not too full. It's gonna be something kind of light, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, it's this still is, early. There's a long line, so hopefully it moves fast. Yeah. something different. This is chicken with shiitake mushrooms and rice. It's called a chicken rice pot with mushrooms. You can see the chicken there, the big shiitake mushroom, has a little bit of greens in there. Put that right there on my plate. And we add a little bit of the sauce to it. And we're gonna try this out. Here we go. Let's see what type of sauce this is. It's like a, it's like a broth, I like almost like a chicken broth with soy sauce for this chicken. It's, I think I need a regular soy sauce because it's not very salty at all. The rice is perfectly cooked. This chicken. Mm. Chicken is juicy. A little bit of seasoning to it. It's a good steam chicken. I like how they steam it in this pot all together because that can be your meal that we're sharing. This is tripe. It's one of our favorites. This is, we got this like back in the day all the time. It's a little bit of ginger there. It's a little bit of onion. I'm gonna try this out. Onion meat taste. Ginger taste as well. It's crunchy. It's it's a crunchy, almost like a cartilage type crunch to it. And it picks up, it doesn't really have a lot of flavor. So it picks up whatever it's sitting in. So it's sitting in a ginger onion type sauce. And so that's what it tastes like. Here's a couple more we have. The black bean short ribs here. And the pork shumai. So let's take a bite of this. Here we go. Yeah, this is very good. It's got great pork flavor to it. Very moist. I'm not sure what the little orange dots are, but maybe just for decoration for that. Because I can't taste anything special about it. But it's very good. Very good to my. This is your favorite usually, right? Here we go, let's try some. It's pretty good. I think I've had better for it. You taste the black bean sauce a little bit more. But the pork itself is good. You gotta watch out for the little bones in it though, that's not the only thing. This one looks really good. It's a dried shrimp and chive rice noodle. They came and uh, they had a kettle of this sauce and kind of poured all over it. So let's give it a try. You can definitely taste that dried shrimp very strong shrimp flavor to it. So if you like the dried shrimp, this is very good. Not too much of the size though. To me, it's just okay. This one looks good on the car. This one looks good. I mean, yeah. anything fried looks good. We just don't know what it is. Let's open this up. Oh, juicy, first of all. Maybe I should bite it. Good fried flavor. Skin is a little bit thick. I believe it is pork. Mm -hmm. Minced pork on the inside. The final taste, the same taste as a shallow bao. I've never seen it in this form. It did squirt out some juices, so I'm wondering if maybe it is. I taste just like it. A little bit thicker crust. It's good. To top it off, we have some egg tarts. They just brought it out from the back, so it's definitely on the warm side. It feels nice and flaky. Good color. Here we go. Definitely right out of the oven. Nice, eggy taste to it. Not too much on the sweet side. 
overall, I like it. It's a very good egg tart. Sesame bowl, as you can tell, full of sesame seeds in here. It's like a, it's sesame seeds inside, it's like a mochi type uh, wrapping, and then inside is either a red bean or a yellow bean. Let's try this out. Very sesame seed tasty. Red bean in there, Japanese uncle. That's really good stuff in there. The, the red bean is sweet, good sesame tasting, and the mochi doesn't really have any other taste. And just the whole, this yummy goodness inside. That was a okay lunch at Ping Pang Hong. Yeah, it's only because we have things to do here that we came here. Um, if we were able to just go anywhere, we would pretty much not come here. Does that mean? Yeah, well, I mean, for dim sum, there's other options uh, yes. outside the uh, uh, Chinatown area, yeah, like, uh, like Yum Cha. Uh, and there's a uh, orchid garden. Orchid gardens, right? Uh, there's a uh, Hong Kong cafe. Is it Hong Kong cafe? No. No. Hong Kong something garden or something like that. Right. Yeah, it's off strip. The, all yeah. of those places are, to us, in our opinion, are uh, better. But yeah. because if you're staying here and you want a quick meal because it's open from 10 to 3 a.m., 10 a.m. Yeah. to 3 a.m., and you don't want to go outside in the 140 degree weather like it is today. Yeah, it'll be something that fill you up. Right, some of the problems we experienced is it's very crowded, not enough servers. Yeah. Uh, they never brought us our water. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they were really late bringing the tea and the soy sauce mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it was, it was they're short stuff. good. So, yeah, yeah, we wanted something light anyway, so we're gonna have a good dinner. Yes. So, it was, it, was, it was perfect for what we were looking for. Yeah, thankfully this wasn't our last meal in Vegas. We yeah. have one more, so we're gonna yeah. hopefully end it on a high. Yes. Yes. We made it to Caesar's Palace. Uh -huh. And we're in the food court. Uh, three or four places are still not open. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, Bobby, Bobby's Burgers, Bobby Flay's Burgers, right. have made it into the food court now. Yeah. I uh, believe Dan vs. World has a review on that place. Mm -hmm. So check it out. Also, the Farris is still here. And next to the Farris now is Earl of Sandwich. Yes, that's yeah. right. Take a little pan so everybody can yeah. see this Yeah, right. I'll show you. And Halal mm -hmm. Guys is open. Yeah, now it's open. Yeah, check it out. Uh, he'll put it in the description. This one's champagne, and this one is, I know it has Baileys in here. It's cognac, but I know it has Baileys and some other ones in there. It's a pretty cool menu. This one, the tequila one, is done with Don Julio Blanco, and it even has coconut flakes in here. So we're going to have that, try it out. This is, a, this is a small one. They have a pint one as well, but we got the small ones. That's actually really good. You can taste the tequila, but it doesn't have a tequila burn. Again, all of these have 4.9 alcohol content in there. Very good tasting coconut as well. Tequila and coconut match really well together. Mm. Yummy. Yeah, this is interesting. Strawberry and rose champagne. Mm -hmm. Let's try this out. We just found this place and we're just walking around yeah. the casino area. It's pretty good. It almost tastes like, like a strawberry sherbet with a little hint of bubbly in it. Like a rosy bubbly. How interesting. Yeah, it's not, it's not too much wine champagne taste at all. It just has that slight hint to it. I really don't know why it is. Not for kids, because it doesn't taste like any alcohol at all. This is the ABC. A, Armoretto, B, Bailey's, and C, the Cognac, which is the Remy Martin, Remy Martin Cognac in this one. Let's try this out. This just sounds really good. Oh. Oh, this one has a little bit of a kick. This one is really good though. Wow. Very creamy ice cream. 
you can really taste the alcohol on this one, but not enough for it to burn. It's just enough for it to flavor the ice cream. Well, I want to try that one. This one's a really good one. Yeah. So over there is Balcano, little short walk right outside of Balcano, and this is where the alcoholic ice cream is. It is excellent. Look who we found in Caesars. Michael? David. <laughs> so for our last meal here in Vegas, we have dinner reservations at Amalfi. It's in Caesars Palace. It's Bobby Flay's new spot. Right. It used to be the Mesa Grill that I know everybody's familiar with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is supposed to be like an Italian seafood mm -hmm. cuisine. Maybe that trip with Italy that he went with Giada, maybe it got him ideas. Maybe. To open a restaurant, an Italian restaurant. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope it's good. from our server was the frito misto. It is shrimp, mussels, lemon, really good greens there. Here's a sauce, barely see it. It's a pesto and let's try this one. Mm. What is that? It tastes like a, a really good, like a, has a little fish taste to it, very creamy to it. Not quite like a tartar, but you can tell the lemon in it, it's really good. I'm gonna try, oh, and here's some squid. So I'm gonna try that. Dip it in this sauce right here. I'm gonna use my hands. I'll keep it classy. Yes. Mm. Cooked very well. Squid though, it's a little chewy. But very good flavor. And the seafood is lightly battered. The sauce really complements it. I'm gonna try this shrimp out here. You're right, it is very lightly battered. Let me take a dip in this pesto and this other white sauce. That's really good. It's light. Crispy. That one has really good flavor to it. It's not rubbery at all. The shrimp is uh, spot on, per cooked perfectly. And the rings of the calamari. I'm not kidding. Yeah, the calamari is a little bit on the chewy side. The shrimp was good though. Soft scrambled egg on some toast with tomato sauce. Let's get this soft scrambled egg, put it on there. All right, that looks really good. A little bit more. That looks good. Let's try this out. That egg is really soft. That toast is very good. Very light taste of the tomato sauce. It's the egg is super creamy. This it's a good match. 
with each other with a soft scrambled egg. It's a creamy egg, not a really eggy, meaning it doesn't have a heavy egg taste. Creamy egg. The toast has a light crunch to it. So it's easy to eat. It's not like a cracker. And it's a really good bite. This is a perfect antipasti appetizer. We picked the whole fish. You can either have it filleted or you can have it done whole. Since we're sharing, we have it done whole. They have all different sizes of fish that you can pick. This is the one we picked since there's two of us sharing. They're gonna get that lemon all over this puppy. They get all of that juice. And it is a roasted lemon. You can see that. You put that all over. That looks really good. Got a backup just in case. I'm gonna try this fish right here. This is a grouper. We picked a grouper. It was uh, fresh from this morning. They just got it this morning. They were already telling us. And you picked it out. Over and there. we picked it out. Yeah. Here we go. Good meaty. Look at that. Mm. Very fresh tasting. The skin is a little bit crunchy. You can see, you can tell it's seasoned. A little bit of salt. I'm gonna give you a dipping sauce for it, but you don't need the dipping sauce. This fish by itself is perfect. But we did get some potatoes and some asparagus for the sides. Got the New York strip. Check this out. It's got rosemary and garlic butter all over it. We're just gonna cut this sucker right in the middle. I asked for it medium and bam. Perfect. Yeah, we got a good grill master over there. So let's try this out. This is aggressively seasoned, just the way we like it. Great. Like salt. You could definitely tell the garlic butter is on here. And that hint from this, what was this thing called again? Rosemary. Yeah. <laughs> A great hint of that rosemary on there. And I think we're going to split this among all of us. Yeah. So we're going to have a little surf and turf action going on. Our server recommended crispy potatoes. Let's try this out. This is really good. Oh, that's good. It definitely is deep fried. The edge of the potatoes are nice and crispy. And again, like the steak, it's seasoned well. Definitely has a good amount of salt on top of the potatoes. I'm not sure what kind of sauce this is on top, but it is very tasty. It's great. I love crispy onions on top of my asparagus. These are perfectly charred. As you can see, you can really taste that charred flavor and it's seasoned perfectly. This is a really good meal. Ready to dig in. That's the fish head, babe. Yeah, best part right here is the cheek. Getting that cheek out. There it is. Right there. The cheek, right? <laughs> Perfect smoky. So good. Need some shoyu with that or what? Nope. Don't need it. Oh wow. That is a wrap from uh, Amalfi. Yes. And our week long stay here in Las Vegas. Uh huh. It was good. Yeah. We're so full from this whole trip. Yeah. Uh, including this one. Uh, there's four videos all together. Yeah. So be sure to check those out. Yeah. Very relaxing. Oh yeah. Very relaxing trip. We mostly stayed indoors because it's averaged around 100 to 108 degrees outside. Yeah, and it it's gets us hot. super tired, super hot. So yeah. we stayed indoors a lot. Right. Oh, we have a few shout outs. Oh, we do. Uh, yes, Juliana, happy birthday. Saba, happy birthday. Dave, we saw you in the Nor in the Orleans. Thank you so much for saying yes. hi. Uh, Nick and Laurie Spelly, we saw you guys too. 
you guys were uh, going off doing your adventures. Yes, so, but that's thank right. you so much for saying hi to us. Uh -huh. uh, Tim and Helen, we just saw them here at Caesars. Yes. They're from Pittsburgh. Thank you so much for saying hi. Yeah, and, and the Donna. recommendations. Oh, and the recommendations to hit up in Pittsburgh. We got them down. We do. And uh, De Donna. Dana, we, I just saw you. Uh, you're from Oklahoma. Thank you so much for stopping us and saying hi. Or me, because he wasn't here. So wasn't, thank you yeah. for stopping me and saying hi. Wow. So uh, let me ask you. What was your favorite restaurant out of this whole week? Bouchon. Well, go Bouchon. and think about it for a second. Oh, I'm sorry. Bouchon. The whole experience, the food was excellent. Uh, oh, we didn't give them a wrap up of Amalfi, how we liked it, baby. Oh, yeah, Amalfi. Yeah. Yeah, fresh seafood. That uh, New York steak was on point, well seasoned. Mm -hmm. uh, great service. Yeah, great service. Um, James. Yes, James. James uh, helped us, and Ozzy helped us pick out our fish. You're right. You guys, right. You guys, you guys are amazing. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The only thing that I didn't care for, the only downside, not really downside, because it was still good, was the chewy calamari and the miso frito. Mm. Miso frito. Frito. Like that, yeah. but it was very good. But it was just very, it was chewy calamari. But it was a bit chewy, but the shrimp was good, it was, and the muscle, and the muscles were good, and the sauce, right? right. It's very good. Well, okay. yeah, yeah, I have to agree. Uh, uh, um, Bouchon, Bouchon for me as well. Uh, perfect, yeah. perfect place. Yeah, Thomas Keller knows where it's at. Yeah, so. Oh, and Goji Cornish pasty that was one of my last videos. Um, the, that when you try that sticky toffee pudding, you will say, hands down, it was better than Gordon Ramsay's. Why? Well, let the let the people sorry, try them sorry, and decide. Sorry. I'm just and giving you a hint. If you try both, let us know in the comments which one you like the best. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna jump. I'm trying to jumping around for the week and see what else. Uh, what else did we do for the week? That was the best one. Yeah, we did so much. You'll see it. <laughs> we did a lot. Yeah. Well, thanks everybody for watching our week long adventures here in Las Vegas. Uh, both on and off the strip. Yeah. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.